Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me Alpha Biomega and CK2 Plus. So our video county in Alhaze is still as peaceful as usual. The date is 6th of June 788 and we just got an event of a grand tournament which is organized by our Emperor. A great tournament the like of which is not seen every year has been announced in our realm. You are invited to watch it. So of course I must be there or watch. I will show them my metal. Well we are a warrior woman and we are a skilled fighter and skilled tactician. Or no I will not attend. Now I have said that uh, Pung Duke has secluded herself to the temple and she's on a theology uh, focus now, trying to become a uh, virtue person. So, you know what? We're just gonna be watching. Oh, and our son has finished uh, his education. Yang Lopun has finished his education in stewardship. I notice with pride that he's attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Oh, he became a Midas touched. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, uh, so, Lopun, you have 18 stewardship, 8 martial, 4 diplomacy, and only 1 intrigue. But 9 learning, that's not bad. You're just, you're diligent, greedy, kind, and a novice fighter. Okay, well, with this kind of, um, stu well, uh, this kind of stewardship, he can become our stewardship. Steward, or what is it called? Gnier, instead of his father, and he's gonna res no, not research economy. That he's gonna collect taxes, which gives us nearly half extra income. So that is awesome. Let's see. We have wow, 0.4 gold more every turn. And I'd also like to give you a certain honorary title to start increasing your prestige. Uh, master of the horse, master of the hunt, master of the bow, or court educator. Master of the bow is usually granted to those who, who demonstrate the ability in a bowmanship. Um, well, you're a novice fighter. Master of the hunt. Horsemanship and martial prowess. Or a court educator. Now let's go with Master of the Bow. That gives you the highest prestige. And you're probably not a very good fighter. But you can be pretty good when it comes to bow shooting. So what about the event uh, with the great tournament? Nothing is happening as it seems. Hmm. Well, uh, in the meantime, I'd like to check. Uh, because we're going after the castle town and next, which will give us another two extra gold. That is awesome. We're gonna get to about 23, however, as we have uh, usurped the temple, we now get the only 50% bonus to income. However, that doesn't really matter. For us, it is still better than it was before. But uh, when my son ascends to... Um, well, I don't want to call it a throne, maybe a wooden chair of Lohase. Uh He will need to give this temple to someone else. Okay, what is happening here? We have a revolt. Liberation revolt of temple. Oh, wow. You are gonna get super killed. Can we... I think even us can get some better troops here, yeah, 669, we have no one, oh wow, we have no generals? I am confused, no we do, commander and commander, why don't they join us? Anyway, we're gonna go and try to deal with him, he has to have some sort of Province elsewhere. Oh, it's probably here, right? No, 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 that's that's not his. So where the hell is your other province? Just these two? It claims that you have 2.7 thousand troops. 
Yeah, the distance see. Oh, okay, here they are. 2,000 troops. Okay, the Grand Tournament has been cancelled due to war. Yes, unfortunately. Well, Duke is gonna do her actual obligation here and she's gonna try to fight the rebels. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them, but um, we'll try to do our best. 2,000 hands. gonna be a shame because, yeah, you don't stand a chance. I would like it if there was a bit more of a fighting chance on your side. Okay, and they're sieging this province. Oh, we're gonna catch these. Nice. Okay, we're paying a bit of upkeep for the troops, but it's okay. And maybe we could siege this... Yeah, we could siege this province. Okay. It sounds like a plan. We can stay out of the main battle. Got a bit of prestige. And siege the province of Gereza. Maybe we can even capture someone. We should have... In yeah, we have enough troops to do the siege. And we left the main army to go and fight uh, with their main army here. Uh, they're already organizing here. So are they... Wow, we got a harsh attrition here. 8.2%. Damn. They're losing only 5%. Every 12 days. I'm not entirely sure if the attrition won't chew us to pieces before we are able to finish the siege. Oh, well, no. Okay, we didn't get get any more attrition, it seems. four point. No, actually we're getting 4.5%. It's getting smaller. So that about 400 troops will be done. But the siege will continue. And once it's done, I'm going to be back. Okay, a major battle is about to happen, uh, where our main army is attacking them. I think mean, this is pretty much, uh, you know, easy to <laughs> guess who's gonna win. While our other army is sieging their capital, which kinda sucks, you know, I probably should have gone for the... Oh, we wouldn't have gotten it anyway, there's too much uh, defenders. But yeah, we got uh, some money from uh, sieging this little place, and now we can move on in here. Okay, and we got an event. My lady, we finally taken Garza tribe, and it appears to link up Namka numbers among those Vic within. What should we do? Take him prisoner at once. Uh, there's a 52% chance that we're gonna capture him, or we can imprison him and anyone else we find, or leave him and his family be. No, let's take him as a prisoner at once. Hey, we got him! Nice. Okay, that's nice. Opinion of Duke minus 19%. Well, we got a prisoner of war. Yeah, that's my army. Wow, they didn't lose even... Wait, they're getting reinforced. Didn't see any army marching. We're gonna participate at this siege uh, because... Because there's quite a lot of gold to be had, and I'm hoping that we might get that. I'm also thinking about uh, one thing. I was checking my son, and I can offer him a concubine. And as that is a possibility, I'm thinking I'm gonna present a debutan, or whatever this is pronounced, and give him, give her to him, or give him this concubine. So let's do that. Uh, she's proud, trusting, diligent, a detached priest. Excellent. So let's offer our son this concubine. Hopefully he's gonna accept her. Yes. Nice. He's gonna have a concubine so that the Dynasty can continue, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to speak about such things. Okay, we're participating in this siege. I wonder how much we're gonna get. Uh, they're liberating this place. Main army is retreating. But I'm not 
sure they have any place to retreat to. Oh, hey, we got seven gold from that. Nice. Or wait, did we? Uh, no, I think we didn't. Okay, anyway, the war is over. So we can now disband our unit and get back to living peacefully here. So, son, you have a concubine, that's nice. Uh, I can't really give you... I'm wondering if I could grant him estates. Um, grant landed estates to these characters. We give them a monthly revenue and make them more loyal to you. A minor estate will give him 50 gold and he gets a bit of money for wealth and money for prestige. No, that's not necessary. Okay, back. I, oh, wait, we have we still have a prisoner. That's the thing that I forgot. So what are we gonna do with you? Can we... Can... Well, can, we can throw you into Oubliette or we can blind you. Can I ransom you? I can release you? Yes, I can ransom you. For 70 gold. Oh, that is cool. I'm gonna get the money. So that means we can immediately start the construction of the castle town. Let's do that before we forget. And the grand tournament is re-announced. So, well, let's go. Well, the Grand Tournament has started. Uh, while the tournament, I was listening to some lesser word rings describe, describe how he collected tithes from his serfs. Ah, okay. As I listened, I realized he was giving his serf plenty of ways of avoiding giving their due. I keep this knowledge to myself. Gain one extra stewardship. That's useful. You know, six in, <laughs> instead of five. And also, one thing happened to our son, uh, he became shy, which gives him a bit more learning and stewardship, but reduces his diplomacy from measly 4 to terrible 2. Okay, the tournament continues. The lords and ladies assembled, argued over who is the fairest, but in the end it was Lady Shangomo who was crowned with a wreath of flowers as the queen of the tournament, declaring her the most noble, graceful, and beautiful lady present. How dare they? I deserve the crown. Or she deserves it. Ah, uh, we're diligent, humble, and kind, so she deserves it, definitely. There's no question about that. The ladies here are so easy to fool. I could tell them that in Cafe, the sky is green, and they would believe me. Oh, we became deceitful. Plus to intrigue. All good things have an end, and the grand tournament is over. You got to see the jousts, the melee, and the archery contest, and mingle with all the lords and our ladies. A jolly fun time was had by all. 25 prestige, and we increase our relations with our emperor. It's nice. Uh, his opinion of us, though, is very bad. Kind of don't like that. How's our son? I kind of like the fact that he wants to fall in love. I went out of my way and spent another 20 gold to get him uh, two additional concubines because we really need to make sure our dynasty does not die out. His prestige is increasing uh, due to his diplomacy skill, uh, due to the fact that he's our steward and due to the master of the bow uh, title. His wealth is not increasing much, but still, you know, the monthly balance is nice. Uh, it will be added to our own. And his Piety is a bit problematic because he's greedy. But you know, overall still increasing. Once we get him under our influence, he's gonna get um, additional boosts from... How do we have here? Well, from the temple. <laughs> and from own buildings and from technology, but not much else. He's gonna get a ton of prestige though, and he's already going there, so I kind of like that. Oh, rejoice! We have a new heir! A son was born to our heir. His name is Gyalva. So, so far, <laughs> the line is still strong. Well, it's not breaking anyway. <laughs> um, what is he gonna do? Uh, well, in, in the tradition of our 
game, he's gonna get a thrift focus right from the beginning so that we don't forget. But hey, man, having concubines is really good. I wonder who, which one of them is his mother. The first one. Oh, she's ill. Fatigue, cough, flu. Uh, successful treatment, though. Decent symptom treatments, minor symptom treatments, excellent symptom treatments. Okay, I think she's gonna be okay. I'm gonna hate it for our first... Oh no, that's the last one. 18. Is it? I don't know. I This might be the first concubine he ever got. Because she's already, you know, given birth to a child. The other ones don't seem to be... Yeah, the other ones aren't pregnant. So we don't know. But more children will definitely come, I hope. Just as I was saying that and stopping the recording, our uh, concubine died. Even though the treatment was not that severe, it seems like it was way more severe than we thought. Died of poor health on 1st of November. Oh man, that sucks. People dying like flies. So let's uh, go with the tradition and present another debutant. Slothful, shy, cynical and a schemer. So you're gonna become our son's third concubine. Where are you? Uh, offer concubine. Oh wow, we have a lot of women here. I didn't have to do that anymore. Oh, when we got her, and let's do it. And someone else died. Wait, is that my... Oh no, we lost our diplomat, right? Yeah. What happened to the poor guy? Died of stress. He got a heart attack, I guess. Um, okay, well, do we have someone else that we can appoint? Uh, our husband. Okay. That's fine. He's gonna serve us once more. And he can improve the relations with our leash. Actually, I could keep it here. Relations improved. Yeah, I didn't have to change it. And special minor grants. Uh, special. Uh, okay, we can arrange a commander. I don't think we're gonna send our son as a commander. Let's instead go on a grand hunt and ask for. Wait, can't we? It looks like we can't ask for... Okay, probably because we got the debutant. I wanted to ask for a marshal, but it seems like we can't. Or like a marshal, I meant commander. Equal council rights law. That's definitely useful. Uh, okay, well we can't. So let's just uh, put our son as a commander for now. That's gonna give him a bit of prestige. And did we finish? No, not yet. The castle town is still being built, but the amount of money is increasing. Our aqua uh, acquaintance get on was executed. He was a friend of our... Wait, what? <laughs> Who the hell is that? As the days go on, seemingly never ending, you can barely keep your eyes open. You seem to have no energy at all. Okay, we suffer from fatigue. Uh, our... Our medical guy... Um, suggests that our symptoms are probably not due to a serious illness. And that it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. Our Denal insisted that you should abstain from food in order to feel better and prescribe a free day fast. Okay, did that help? I hope it's not gonna kill me. One of my tasks as Munchen is to smooth relations between lords. Most I try to make other rulers of my religious vassals like her better, but sometimes, as today, I find someone who doesn't like Tumagad Nanamsa, and then I work my magic on. Uh, Timogan Namsa and her high chief Manglang. 
the gorgeous Exigazi. Ah, oh, let's work it on her. I hadn't expected to be rewarded for what I have done, but it was nice of Tumogar Namsa to show that she appreciated my hard work. Oh nice, she gave me money! <laughs> One moment you are shivering and the next you are sweating and overall you feel awful. Oh no, we got a fever. The nun reckons that you are in the early stages of gout. He insists that you follow his instructions. Oh wow. I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, is he our court physician? No, Yui is. Why do you keep treating me? The Nell spent many hours studying the stars before informing you that in order for your strength to return, you had to fast for the better half of a fortnight. Okay, that helps. Hopefully. Yeah, minor symptom treatment. Tumogar Namsa was introduced by a mutual friend, Mugari Yidring, and we talked for quite a while. We had our differences and a few arguments, and then we found common, safe ground, and I began enjoying myself. She seems like a decent person. Oh, we can become close friends with our niche. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't like her opinion, nor I like her. Nice woman, but... I wouldn't want her as a friend. Now let's become close friends. It's gonna increase her opinion of me. And mine of her. Nice, that's really good. Or Vish now likes us. Uh, <laughs> so let's declare war on her. But she has no children at all. That is really weird. Who is this guy? Is he her brother or... No, he's not her brother. He is... Wait. He's the member of her dynasty. No, he is. Okay. She's here. Okay. So her brother will inherit it. You're paint with hot swollen joints which disturb your sleep. You've contracted a gout. Oh no. Okay, this might be the end for us. This character has gout, swelling and joint pain accompanied by fever and fatigue. Your court physician in the null has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. I trust your knowledge, O wise one. We have nothing to lose. And I told you that the task of interpreting the spirits is difficult work, but cleansing through fire is an art as old as the world itself. Little did you know he would have you walk over burning coal. I feel different. Brave or zealous? Wait, brave and zealous gets mystically altered. Damn. Well, the zealous one fits with our theme here. I just hope we won't die out of it. I'm not sure why the court educator is doing this to me. My liege, my mission to Xigaza has so far been a success. Okay. I think you might instead go and talk with our emperor because we have a hundred percent with our leash anyway. Wait. Uh, zealous versus sympathy for Eastern religions. Okay. But she likes us. Castle Town has been built. Let's see. 24.72. Oh, that's so nice. And we're gaining 3.63. We were gaining that much before as well. Okay, I think it needs to recalculate. 4.14. That is nice. Um, but we won't be able to, yeah, we need castle infrastructure level of 2 to get better. So now we can go with, oh, we can't really build walls anymore. So that's a bit disheartening. Castle infrastructure level 2, we're not gonna get that. Improved keeps level 2, we're not gonna get that either. 
So okay, maybe time to start thinking about the military. The Gompa Monastery increases garrison and levy size, gives piety and cultural technology points. So that might be good. It also spreads technology. We could go with castle or other things. I don't think keep and well, I don't think keep is useful, especially for us right now, because we don't have that many troops. I'd much rather get things like militia training ground, or well, the mountaineer academy. Well, that one isn't that that good for its money, but you know, uh, generally speaking, I would like to get more buildings like uh, the militia training ground and probably maybe even the stable level two. And after which we can build the keep because it will give us a bigger boost. Okay, there are many mysteries in here in Port Choga Faith. It might be interesting to listen more to the ancient stories told by the bones. I shall summon the storytellers. We are this close to getting our piety over the necessary level, and we can marry. So. Did you marry? No, not yet. Okay. So is it everyone... Wow, well, everyone's going to 24 gold or gain 15 prestige. Let's gain 24 gold. And let's check our son's wife. Uh, she's a dutiful cleric. Child of a concubine, novice fighter. She's shy, stubborn, chaste. It's not... Something I would really like and a wrath. <laughs> okay, still still good, you know, still good. So we're getting quite a lot of money here. So I guess I'm gonna go after the militia training round. Though, you know, white infantry and archers aren't all that useful. Apart from the first phase of the battle, which is skirmish. Uh, but getting those up will be pretty good. They're not expensive either. And the building is the cheapest one we can build as far as the buildings go. Yeah, we could also go with barracks, but I don't know if we're getting that many bonuses. Level multiplier. Go monastery. Now I'm thinking our Pung Duke is trying to become uh, the virtuous person. So it might be better to go with the Gompa Monastery. Because that way she would, you know, she would want that. Especially now that she's zealous. And we have a grand hunt, really? That's interesting. A mystical altar. This character has received an esoteric brand of treatment from a mystic court physician and is close to death. Great. Health minus two and health minus two here. Mm, okay, in the past few months you have spent many nights listening to the old myths and stories of the Gyan Po Choga faith. The tales told of Tsan are most inspiring and contain much wisdom that can help you in your daily life. Gain piety and learning, which should help us with the paragon of the virtue. Yes. Okay, she fulfilled her ambition. And what else can we now want? Uh, oh wait, no, that was known for virtue. Now she could become a paragon of virtue of piety more than 1,000. Become a formidable fighter. Increase size of our territory. Convert the province or reign in peace for 10 years. I think we might go with the reign 10 years in peace. Or let's go with the Paragon of Virtues. She's zealous and, you know, she likes that. So I think that might be the best option for us. Okay, we're gaining a bit more prestige. That's fine. Money is coming fast. Hmm. The fortifications themselves don't help much, they just give you a fort level. I'm kind of bummed though that we can build the castle walls. Those are the best ones. While chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled and broke his leg. King Piety. And the grand hunt is over for now. This was truly noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial abilities. As was this episode. 